Yo, Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. Another week, another roundup, and this is the first roundup of August 2018. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, let's dive in. One of the things that was announced at the Business Application Summit was the new release of the Business Application Release Notes. This is for October 2018. And if you're not familiar with the release notes, and I know a lot of people are not familiar with this, the release notes for Power BI specifically, these are the roadmap items for Power BI. So these are all the things that are gonna be coming in the upcoming future, the near future. So if you're ever curious about what direction Power BI is going, what things are coming, you need to pay attention to these release notes. They are updated monthly with little corrections and things of that nature. But if you're not familiar with it, take a look at it, bookmark it. We update it all the time. The link is down in the description below. So go check it out. We've got an article from Marco Russo over at SQL BI talking about how to apply a measure filter with inside of Power BI. And he goes through and talks about what this really means and the different types of filters that are available in Power BI and specifically with visualizations, how a measure can apply to data and how things could be different depending on the focus of the visual and what actually you are filtering on. This is just a good article to understand how the filter pane in Power BI Desktop really works and how measures can affect that. Check out this article if you're curious about it. I thought it was a good read. Gilbert Q's got a blog post talking about row level security and how that works with Power BI. This was a session that he actually did at the Business Application Summit and he has posted that. The recordings were made available. So be sure to check out this video if you are curious about row level security. He kind of goes through for an hour talking about how row level security works and how it can benefit you. And by the way, Gilbert, I love the brand. I wonder if he's got a laptop sticker of that cow. If you're interested in real level security, be sure to check out the blog post, which has the video embedded inside of it. Links as always down in the description below. Also links for all the items I'm talking about in this roundup, along with some bonus items down below. We got the July 2018 update for the Power BI developer experience. And there were a couple things inside of this item. First being that you can now programmatically control those visual headers. I know folks got all crazy when the visual header updates came out for Power BI Desktop, and now you can actually control those from an embedded perspective. This is great. Be sure that you update the latest version of the JavaScript SDK to take advantage of this. We also got a new Power BI Developer Center, so be sure to check that out. And also, if you are in the China cloud, Power BI Embedded is now available for you. So that opens up a whole lot of doors for you. Check out the blog post down below for all the details. The 2018 Power BI World Tour is about to kick off. I'm really excited about this. It's gonna start on August 21st in Melbourne, Australia, and there's gonna be several cities across the world that it's gonna to go to. And I'm excited to see all of you at the Power BI World Tour. I will be making it to two cities on this World Tour stop. I will be at the Copenhagen, Denmark, City Stop, and that is on September 11th and 12th. And then I will also be at the Dallas World Tour Stop, which is at the end of November. So if you're in those cities or you're in that area, be sure to stop by, I wanna say hi to you. But check out the blog post down below for all of the dates and all of the cities that this will be at, and be sure to attend. There's gonna be a lot of great sessions. It's put on by your local Power BI user groups, and there's gonna be a lot of great folks speaking, so. Be sure to attend, partake in the Power BI community. All right, my favorite item in this roundup, I'm gonna go with the Power BI World Tour. I'm really excited about this. I love when the community gets together. There's gonna be a lot of great stops, a lot of great sessions, and awesome people like you attending that. So I'm really stoked for that. But I wanna pass this off to you. What was your favorite item? Go and leave that down in the comments below and let me know. Or if there was something I missed that you thought should have been included, put that down below so other people can know about it as well. If you like this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button smash it if you so desire if it's your first time here hit that subscribe button and as always from both patrick and myself thank you so much for watching keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video